Hello and welcome. My name is Maya Sears. We will be talking about body image and the negative perception many teenage girls have of their appearance and selves. Well, I think when you're in high school, you're really uh, susceptible to what other people think about you. And so to have these images um, or people who you want to embody look this certain way or say that you're supposed to look a certain way can really affect growing um, girls and boys. There was this whole way that we we're expected to hold ourselves um, in ballet. You know, your stomach is always should be tucked and your legs are always supposed to look a certain way. And I think that a lot of times in media too is, you know, you're expected to kind of have this little tiny itty bitty waist, but you know, it could be a little bit curvy and you know, have your legs not be too thick, but they can't be too thin. So it's sort of like a very small, narrow way of like what's acceptable. We're finding ourselves in high school and we don't really know that much um, and then we're placed all these things are being thrown at us all these things that we're supposed to look like and we don't really know what to do with them so we kind of take them as personally and as negatively as we possibly can. I sometimes catch myself looking at somebody and being like oh my gosh is she wearing like a maxi dress and a sweatshirt what is she doing you know. So I think it really affects high schoolers um, and what they spend their time thinking on instead of school you know maybe they're thinking about how they look or how other people are perceiving their image. I guess a lot of my personal experience is like catching myself judging other girls about what they're wearing instead of like who they are. I'd be standing in front of a mirror for you know two hours at a time, you know four days a week and um, it just you know just a leotard. You can see every hug and curve, you can see everything about yourself and you're just staring at yourself and um, my teacher would just say oh like you know hold your stomach or uh, stand up a little bit straighter, hold your neck a certain way, you know, always be looking for the things that are wrong and fix them. I was just purely looking at my body in the mirror. I was no longer looking at how I was moving. Um, and after that, um, there was really nothing else I could do and that was all I could see. And, you know, something that had been my passion for so long became something that was really unhealthy for me. Um, and I think that, you know, a lot of people go through that, a lot of dancers, that's why eating disorders are so common among um, ballerinas especially because, you know, even Balanchine was like, well, this is how you're supposed to look and if you don't, you can't dance with me. How do you think we can create a more attainable standard of beauty? I think if social media stops putting such a pressure on physical appearance. These days they're trying to be more accepting about different weights, but I feel like that's still not helping enough because it's still that physical appearance that you're judging on instead of like intellect or a sense of humor or like your personality. In an ideal world, that's a really, that's a hard question. Um, I guess I would say that to see the beauty in your own self. So to see, you know, inner beauty and you can also appreciate what you have on the outside. I mean, that's not to say that you shouldn't think you're beautiful on the outside as well, because that's a hugely important thing um, to cultures and to feminism. Um, but to realize that it comes from more than that, it comes from confidence and it comes from, you know, a sense of self, not just um, from what everyone else is supposed to look like. This is Maya Sears reporting for Arlington Public News.